In New York State, the breakout has led to a shakeup. Today, at the prison where two convicted killers escaped through pipes and tunnels, 12 staffers were shown the door, at least for now. Here's Anna Werner. This photo obtained by CBS News shows escapee Richard Matt after he was killed by Border Patrol agents who shot him in the head. Meanwhile, the consequences for the prison escape start at the top. A state official briefed on the matter told CBS News the three top executives put on administrative paid leave are Superintendent Stephen Reset, First Deputy Superintendent Donald Quinn, and Deputy Superintendent for Security Stephen Brown. Nine security staff were also put on paid leave. The action came as David Sweat, shot and captured Sunday, revealed more details of the escape plan. Clinton County District Attorney Andrew Wiley confirms that Sweat told police he and Richard Matt conducted a practice run the night before the escape. Sweat also said he had a transistor radio and listened to news reports and had with him a compass, maps, bug repellent, and handy wipes. The FBI is also now investigating whether there was corruption at the prison and a possible drug ring. The drugs are everywhere. Retired Clinton Corrections Lieutenant Michael Blaine says drugs are common in the prison population. I believe the only drugs there are the ones that the inmates are having brought in through visitors and through packages. So as far as officers being involved, what would you say? I don't believe it. I still find it very hard to believe that the people I worked with were involved. We tried to reach those three top executive staff members, but were unable to reach them for comment. Meanwhile, a source tells CBS News that no one has yet claimed Richard Matt's body. Scott, he could wind up with a pauper's funeral. Anna Werner reporting for us tonight just outside the prison. Anna, thank you.